Wow, who would have thought that the true Battlefield killer was Battlefield all this time? What's up everybody, do right back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about World War 3 because there is a beta that is coming up pretty soon here. And from what I understand, it's only for people who actually bought the game initially back in 2018 and also for people who have purchased it recently. Yeah, so newer players are actually going to get access to this beta, not just the veterans. So this is the first time that newer players are actually going to be able to play the newer version of World War 3. This beta is going to be taking place on the 25th of November. November, which is in just about five days as of the recording of this video veterans are able to pre-download it on the 24th and then play it on the 25th all you got to do is make sure that your world war 3 is downloaded in your steam library and then launch it on the 24th and there should be a download patch or a link on the uh, my.games launcher thingamajig and uh yeah so why am i talking about this why is this so significant well for those of you that don't know the reason why people were calling it the battlefield killer was because back in 2018 the game was launching just after after the disastrous launch of Battlefield 5. Battlefield 5 at that time had really poor PR. Like it was being marketed as like a World War II game, but when they actually showed off the trailers, people were really confused as to what the hell they were looking at. Is that a lady with a freaking hook for an arm? Why does she have a cricket bat? What? What am I looking at here? So they say they want to do a World War II game, but then they add in all this random shit that has nothing to do with World War II. It really felt like they were trying to advertise to an audience that doesn't really play video games. I really don't like to talk politics on the channel here, but it just felt blatantly obvious that they were trying to put like a bit of politics into the game here especially when they brought on um what's his name trevor noah from uh the daily show which isn't necessarily like a political show like cnn like they more parody or make comedy on the stupid shit that's going on in politics on comedy central but yeah i think they leaned a little too much into that if you ask me because the people that play battlefield are not the people that are into that type of politics shit and it really backfired when a lot of people criticized that and the head developer was like well if you don't like it don't buy it be careful what you wish for, because that's exactly what happened. Battlefield 5 ended up flopping. Well, not necessarily flopping, but getting way less than they projected. Probably good to keep the company afloat, but for EA, that's a big no-no. If EA doesn't get its projected amount, they generally abandon the game. Like, the game itself wasn't that bad, but the thing that really killed it for them was just a horrible PR. And so people were looking for alternatives, and World War 3 was really a big buzzword, with YouTubers going as far as to call it a Battlefield killer, just because it was a more modern Battlefield-like FPS. And they released it at like such a strategic time that they could have probably siphoned off a lot of Battlefield players because people were really pissed off at Battlefield, but that ended up actually being their downfall. Because I was hearing that there was a lot of people who were complaining about the beta of World War 3, saying how a lot of people weren't connecting to the game and just having a lot of general server issues or even like getting into the game itself, it would take them a long time for people getting into the game. So the beta testers were saying that World War 3 should definitely get delayed, but obviously that didn't happen. The developers were probably thinking oh my god battlefield is flopping right now we have to drop this and yeah that went about as well as you could imagine there were a lot of players that were coming from battlefield to world war 3 and the servers simply could not handle it half of them were either unable to actually get into the game or they couldn't make it into a server those that made it into servers hardly saw anybody in the actual servers themselves like i actually got into one at one point but there was only maybe like a grand total of like eight players in the game world war 3 definitely had a lot of issues but the more prominent ones was the servers themselves and nothing kills a game more than not being able to get into servers. So World War 3 back in 2018 was a big bust. I'm not saying that it was terrible. There was a lot of things that I really liked about it, but the whole thing with the servers is just what really killed it off for a lot of people. And honestly, I didn't think that the game would actually recover. At least not until we heard maybe like a year or two later when we heard that they actually partnered with a company called My.Games. Them partnering with My.Games basically allowed them to revamp the game into a much better state. But admittedly, a lot of people, including myself, were actually pretty skeptical about it because My dot games is a company that likes to do a lot of like free to play stuff with microtransactions so a lot of us were worried as to how the game was actually going to work out or play out you know how different is it going to be from its original interpretation and i'll be honest it's a lot better than where it was the gameplay gunplay and everything has seen much improvement but it still needed a lot of work from the last time that i played i have a video that you can watch right here if you want my previous uh thoughts on the last time that i played it i think overall it was a net positive but they still have some things that they definitely need to fix like the 
audio for sure. But I mean, yeah, if I had to choose between Battlefield 2042 or World War 3, I'd definitely pick World War 3. I've played World War 3, the newer version of it, and comparing it to 2042, it's just night and day. World War 3 just offers much more bang for your buck in terms of content, customization, and performance. Couple this with the fact that it's also going free to play, I mean, I definitely recommend it. But 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 the guys over at Farm 51 cannot screw this up. World War 3 has to launch flawlessly. There cannot be any server issues because if this happens again, this game is done. This is their second chance because the first time around they really screwed it up and they did it when people were actually like warning them, you know? I am in the business of giving games second chances, but if they screw this one up, I don't know if I can really go back to it. So yeah, they cannot mess it up. And honestly, I don't think they will, but there has been a lot of people telling me that this is some sort of repeat of what happened back in 2018 and what do they mean by that well world war 3 was basically launching like right after battlefield 5 fumbled the ball and so people are saying that's exactly what's going on right now you know with the whole 2042 debacle and i mean i kind of have to disagree with that i mean i'll admit that there are some parallels but i still have to disagree because it's not exactly the same at least battlefield 5 was a much more completed battlefield like it actually felt like a battlefield whereas 2042 just feels like dog shit and they don't have the core features that made it battlefield you know and world war 3 also launched as like a full game despite beta testers telling them that it was a really bad idea this time around they're just going into beta so this isn't like the official launch it's only just a beta and they're actually taking a lot of criticism to heart they aren't just launching it like willy vanilla like they did last time because i'm assuming that they don't want to fuck it up right you know when i played the alpha i actually was really impressed at how much they improved the game but i was worried because i thought that battlefield 2042 was just gonna gobble up everything because you know ea and and dice are just a big triple a company with their juggernaut of a game battlefield and is the type of game that a lot of people were just craving you know like when did battlefield 4 come out hold on let me see damn 2013 that was like the last best battlefield in my opinion the ones that came after it were okay but i just didn't get that you know battlefield feel that i had with 4 you know and we are in 2020 holy cow that's like eight years man i thought that 2042 was actually gonna be like the saving grace you know but no it's like so we heard you like call of duty and overwatch and battle royales it's like motherfucker i came here to play battlefield i don't want no goddamn nostalgia trip just give me a new battlefield and one that's good Oh, the Battlefield community just seriously needs a win. Please, World War 3, don't screw it up, please. But yeah, initially I thought that Battlefield 2042 was just gonna mollywop World War 3 because everybody was more excited for that than World War 3 at the time. And like, World War 3 wouldn't stand a chance. Well, obviously that didn't happen. So the only people who can mess up this launch is World War 3 themselves. And I really hope that they don't do that because there's a good chance that I might be getting partnered with this studio. And I would love to, you know, post more content about this game and get paid while doing it but the fun factor has to be there. I really don't want to be like defending this game if it doesn't go the way that we all planned. So fingers crossed. And if the game does have a shitty launch, well, at least there's still Halo. I'm having a blast with it, but man, that XP gain is freaking brutal right now. Oh, that also reminds me, like how are they gonna do that XP gain? Like, is it gonna be as slow as freaking Halo's? I hope not. I would definitely like some rewards for when I actually earn things, you know? For when I actually do cool things. Like I'm over here beasting it up in Halo and to only see like 50 freaking XP at the end of a is just like demoralizing like what the hell i should get a lot more than that well anyways i would love to have world war 3 as a second game to play though because my tactical shooters are kind of dry at the moment i mean i guess i could go back to insurgency sandstorm they have a new update but uh yeah let's all hope that world war 3 launches amazingly because i'm gonna end the video right here if you enjoyed the fact that i cover games like world war 3 then be sure to like the video share the video and comment down below if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you could get more content on world war 3 or any other game that i decide to cover if you'd like to support the channel check on my patreon or click on the join button that's underneath the video any donation helps to keep the channel running and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye